Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. I'm glad you're all here. I'm going to take a quick second and thank all the channel members. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all. And I thank anybody who comes in to watch my knife and EDC content. It humbles me. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to absorb it, so I won't go any long breath here. But if you would really like to do an extra super solid, if you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon, it would help me out. And it'll keep you updated on what's going on with the channel. So I wanted to do, like I've kind of said in my earlier videos, I'm still going to bring you knife overviews. We've had an ice storm, snowstorm here in the south where I am, and I haven't had a mail call, a mail delivery, we'll say, in over seven days the time of filming this. So I wanted to kind of draw my focus for this video to this knife and the origination of this knife and EMP EDC. So this is the, I think, second generation Nimble by EMP EDC. OEM partnership, if I'm not mistaken, was QSP, which is not what makes the knife special. The EMP EDC is by no means a big company. It is John and Jamie. I will leave their last name private, but they are a couple who run it out of their house pretty much. And they have strategic partnerships with, for this knife, QSP, for some of the knives we talk about down the road, we'll call it um, Best Tech. So, all the designs are, are John's designs. So this knife came out shortly after I re-entered or emerged back into the knife hobby. Got into the whole watching YouTube videos, seeing things that I wouldn't normally be exposed to from an A.G. Russell catalog or wherever else I was, you know, Walmart or Wix, which is a sporting goods place to buy ammo, you know, the regular. I was exposed to a whole different sea of knives. And I started seeing this knife. At the time, I didn't know anything about the knife business. I didn't know anything about how knives were made, um, who made them, the designs, how they opened, the whole nine yards. So I did not get the version one nimble. I used to be, for probably the first year of my being in the hobby, I was a traditional flipper guy. I could do thumb studs, but I liked the tr traditional flick. And the Nimble, what I liked about it is I had just started middle finger flicking about the time this came out, or attempting to middle finger flick, and it heard that this knife was a very easy knife, not only to flip, because my big concern was it didn't have a flipper tab like I was used to that protruded out. And they said it's very intuitive to front flip. Multiple deployments and they all work really well. So. I took a chance on it, loved the shape, loved the look. It came in and was instantly, for a while, because I was at the time buying so many knives, but I wasn't buying knives of this caliber. I was buying a lot of budget knives and just collecting them, hanging out to them. Most of them have found their way to you guys. But the Nimble was one that was special, right? I loved it. I did and was surprised of the size of the knife that was kind of a medium as Christine from Women Carry Knives would classify it, a small medium knife, but it's a great EDC knife. So I was a big fan of the Nimble and was very curious to see what EMP EDC was going to do next. So the next project, as my memory, which is to be overwritten by anything you guys Google, because I have no memory whatsoever, but was the Thick Boy. And this was a design that John EMP EDC partnered with on Best Tech to produce and brought it to market. My first thought was, and it never claimed to be, it's not a multiple deployment knife. You know, uh, at this time I didn't know the story of John how he started the MP, why he started it when he did. Um, but I was thinking, okay, but it's an interesting looking knife, right? I've seen it on a lot of uh, channels, and to me it was a big cleaver blade. I had not even really experienced that yet in my collecting. 
So I took a chance on it, picked it up. This is the version one. I love the version two. I could not bring myself to buy a version two because the version one for my little hand is just fine. I know the version two, like any version two does, like the nimble version two does, or some of the others I'm gonna show you. They all make minor improvements, but this knife, guys, was good. Um, I think the only place you can find this knife now is on the secondary, but you know, they're out there from time to time. I see them on NAF sale, so I'm sure if you're active on any other trading, buying, selling forums that are reputable, and you are interested in a thick boy, you could find one. But just a great knife. Unique EDC knife, a head turner, a great cutter, tall flat grind. And I didn't say earlier, both of these guys are M390 titanium, M390 titanium uh, micarta. This one is a concealed frame lock or bolster lock. Whereas this one is a frame lock. The nimble is also available in a liner lock. I did not pick up one of those. Again, I have to be selective in, in what I purchased. But anyway, the Thick Boy was my second EMP EDC knife. I could tell right away that there was something special going on with EMP EDC, and I really liked their designs, right? The design language. The only thing that's similar between these two knives was the pivot and the logo and the blade hole had similar characteristics with the hole and then this kind of gentle, I don't know what you'd call that, not uh, milling, you'd call that, it's not sharp. It's not gom-like. I love my gom, I'm not beating on it, but it's very smooth. It's got soft transitions, we'll call it a hole softener. You've got this hole softening fuller area around it. So that carried over to the Thick Boy, which made it easy to flick and deploy from anywhere, right? Great knife, big knife, chopper if you want it to be. I really liked it. I was now ready to see what EMP EDC was going to do next. So the next thing they did that got my attention was the Nimble X. I'd always thought that I wanted a larger nimble. In all reality, it's a great knife. I don't carry it as much as my smaller nimbles, but we'll get to that. The Nimble X came out. It came out in both, uh, this, this was kind of a sheep's foot, I think the way I thought of it as, and a drop point that had the same blade profile just on a larger level as the regular nimble what i refer to in this video is the og nimble because it was my first so i picked out a different blade style you still had the multiple deployment methods still have that nice softened edge deployment hole this one's solid stainless color but you've got titanium m390 titanium clip it was really starting to get excited i'd bought all three of these knives kind of in rapid succession and carried all of them and have no you know they're still you're looking at them tonight when i'm recording this so i'm a huge fan and very excited to see what they do in 2024 but the nimble x was a winner i'm glad i got this blades type this more spear point type blade um because it's a little more different. I like to fill different holes in my collection. And holes are very subjective. And I'm not normal. I'm what you would call uh, an atypical brain. But moving on. They came out with a Warncliffe nimble. Um, and a Tanto nimble. Version 1. And though I love a Warncliffe. And I have a collection full of them. Um, I could not at the time, because I'm buying other knives, I could not at the time bring myself to buy a Tonto Nimble or a Warncliffe Nimble, so those kind of went past me. So I'd had about a year and a half and had acquired three EMP EDC knives. So fast forward to Blade Show 2023, and I'm at EMP EDC's booth. I'm hanging out with those guys, and 
Colon Care were there, Tri-State, and I was just looking at some of the knives that I've got here that I'll show y'all in a second. And I came across this knife. This knife is a knife that had been released, and I loved the look of it. I love the look of the clip point blade, the compound grind with this steep hollow, and this stout, pokey tip that's a splinter digger. And the reason I initially had not been attracted to the relative, as you guys know, looking at the nimble, is I was always used to that rear flipper, even though I always used the flicker hole. For some reason, I could not understand, I do now, why there was not a rear flipper on the relative. And it turns out it's all because of the design, this wonderful, wonderful choil. This is probably my favorite, one of my favorites, well, my favorite sentimentally for sure, EMP EDC knife. Because when I was at the EMP EDC booth, I played with a lot of the knives that I had overlooked that were coming soon. And really what that trip to Atlanta did in 2023 and spending the time that I did at EMP EDC's table was it kind of reignited my love of the brand, right? So I'd always loved EMP EDC knives. That's why I picked up the Nimble, the Thick Boy, and the Nimble X, and was watching what they were doing. Just didn't pick up the others because I wrongly assumed they were going to be just like Nimbles with different blades. But this one is OEM'd, if I'm not mistaken, by Best Tech. I may be mistaken, not QSV. The milling, of course, is different because John changes that up quite a bit. But the blade, me showing it, does not do it justice. The jimping on the entirety of the blade, that beautiful EMP EDC smooth hole, as I call it. This time you've got a fuller that runs the length of the blade. So you can literally flip this thing from anywhere. And when I say flip it, it rockets out. It feels perfectly balanced and it fits my hand great. And what makes this knife super, super special is Saturday night at Blade Show, they had a Kaiser dinner and I was tired. So I decided to stay back for the Kaiser dinner and just hung out down in the pit with a few people. I was chatting, meeting some people, just sitting there. Next thing I knew, I fell asleep sitting up. I was dead asleep, guys, for like an hour probably. I don't know how long I woke up and I met Mimo. She was sitting there and I met um, uh, Rocky, uh, Chef Rocky. He was sitting there and I'd been talking with a guy who was trying to sell a few knives beside me, him and his girlfriend. They were still there. So I can't really, I'm not exactly sure how long I was asleep. But then... I was coming conscious, kind of looking around, and I saw John and Jamie coming up to the restaurant right in front of where I was sitting because the pit is just a couple of areas with a bunch of couches around a circle, and there's a restaurant there. And uh, John walked up to me, smiled, and he handed me an EMP EDC bag. I was like, what's that, buddy? He goes, just something I want you to have. He goes, well, I appreciate you always showing off our knives. I know you'll like it. You, you showed interest of it at the booth. And I appreciate you. And it was the first time anyone had ever given me a knife like that. Any company, anybody had ever said, I want you to have a knife. And I love this knife. I was blown away by not only the generosity, but the knife. Um, I'd already fully determined when I got back from Blade Show, because I wasn't buying a lot when I was at Blade Show, but that I was going to seek out some of these knives, along with a few others from other makers. But... This one happens to be in MagnaCut. It is the style that I love with the clip point. It fits my hand perfectly. If you look at this next to the regular Nimble, just for S and Gs. And if you look at it next to the Nimble X. So for me, it kind of splits that difference and where the Nimble was medium and the Nimble X a little larger, the relative is just right. And guys, the action, I guess with any knife maker, 
and you do different knives, you're going to advance your designs. But this one has action unlike any other EMP VC I have. So that's the relative. Absolutely love it. So I got back from Blade Show, and I'd also noticed this little knife at the booth. This is a knife that had come up for sale that I'd seen that I'd initially passed on because I really didn't understand it. But when I was in Atlanta, I got to handle it, check it out. I found it not only unique, original, functional, but fun. You guys know what I hate more than anything in terms of opening, and it's a front flipper. Now this one has a flipper hole. I love a flipper hole. I love a Tonto. I love this compound ground hollow Tonto with this thick chisel front. I love my familiar pill-shaped deployment hole. I love the detail applied on the swedge, the jimping. You've got this very similar diagonally uh, milled titanium hardware. This particular guy is an LMAX, which is another reason I chased it, because I'm a blade steel guy. But the front flipper, and I should qualify that in a second, which I hate, as you guys know, is foolproof. If I did not know how to thumb flick or middle finger flick, I could easily fidget with and open this knife. And then, of course, most importantly, cut with it all day long. It is what I consider a gentleman's folder, badass Tonto. And I love this knife. Um, I would have never tried it had I not experienced it at Blade Show. Because again, when we look at designs, we can't take chances on everything. But we've got some different stuff. Guys, you're going to see some BLOD start to pool on my thumb. Because I got myself. Anyway, the uh, EMP EDC Ronin is an absolute winner. It is thin. It is a gentleman's folder, I call it. So you can look at it size comparison wise to our Nimble and to our Relative. And to me, it is just a very thin, thin little package. So then I was now starting to spend quite a bit of time on EMP EDC's website. I was checking out knives that were available, and a knife came available that I had passed on before. And the reason this one was easier for me to justify, most importantly, was that when I was in Atlanta, I picked it up and handled it, so I knew what it was. It's a Nimble T, or Nimble T V2. Um, and like I said before, I thought, it was just going to be a revamp, which if you look at it, you would think that, of the Nimble um, with a different blade. So initially I wasn't interested, but I'd really become a fan of this colorway. And when I experienced these scales for the first time, guys, these things are next level. They feel great. You've got this wonderful milling where these little octag octagons are milled down into the scale. You've got this really classy pivot collar added to the pivot, black uh, pivot with bronze or gold hardware and uh, a black clip. And it's tuned differently, guys. I don't know if it's the blade shape. I love the satin finish, whereas my nimble is stonewashed. But most, the most thing that I like about it is the action. The detent, the fact that it's not an aggressive Tonto, that it is very much kind of drop pointy Tonto. Yes, it's a Tonto. It's a compound grind, hollow flat. It's got our pill hole a little bit narrower possibly. You've got your pivot collars instead of just your raw pivots, and you've got what I feel is a superior um, scale for my liking. I, mean, I love frag, but guys, this feels next level special. 
So this was came available. I bought it off the EMP web EMP EDC website. Did an unboxing, did a review. Absolutely love this knife. But by this point, after reconnecting at Blade Show 2023 and experiencing a lot of their knives and the knives that they had coming, I was a recommitted fan. Um, and if you guys have watched the channel for any time, which I'm sure a lot of you are new, I've never been a big automatic guy. And I've never owned or had the desire to own an out the front. I've got a couple of Protec Striders, an SNG, and a PT-207. And I've got a little Protec Newport. I've got a little uh, Kershaw launch, the little short one. But I never had a Microtech, never had anything that went out the front because daggers aren't my thing. Um, you know, I'm more of a cutter EDC guy. And when I was at Blade Show, I got to experience this prototype OEM by Best Tech. And it's the EMP EDC Pulse OTF. An out the front knife that I had no interest in until I experienced this. So, very neutral handle rectangular handle that is very comfortable i do feel the clip but that's not necessarily a bad thing because i feel most clips it's not uncomfortable it goes in and out of pocket very well i can actuate this out the front with my weak thumbs my biggest problems without the fronts has been to retract them but this guy i can operate like nobody's business and this worn cliff blade when i first saw it come out at blade show it blew me away i had to have it it was um it reminded me of this just like that because my brain's atypical remember so i don't see things normally so this worn cliff blade really spoke to me it's got a super deep belt satin flat and i'm talking a literal pry bar tip the beautiful swedge that you also have on the ronin the jimping and my little pill shaped blade hole that in this knife is purely stylistic it's kind of a calling card by this point because john has developed a brand that has that as a common thread that runs through all the designs. The thing that I like the most about EMP EDC and why they're probably my favorite imported knife design team or one of them, there's, you know, there's another Devo is really close there. I think they're, they're speaking my language, but um, John and Jamie don't do an average rinse and repeat on their designs they don't do um the same thing over and over and i think on all these designs they took a lot of chances i know the story because i follow them on instagram and know how when covid struck john like a lot of people um was out of a job for a while and he and Jamie at that point made the decision to take the design that he had been working on and try to make a go at being a knife company. That design, of course, was the original Nimble. Guys, it was a fantastic success, which is what I love to see in the community. They are fantastic people. EMP EDC, I can recommend any of their knives. I've not had a bad one. I hope to acquire a Warncliffe, even though when they were all coming out, I thought they were the same. Um, I was wrong, and I can't wait to see what they do in 2024. Guys, long video. There's one weird edit in the middle. It may or may not work. My phone went dead for the first time ever filming. We'll see how it comes out to you guys. I love each and every one of you. I do ask, as always, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for that guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart, and please, choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.